The Colts and Texans meet Saturday in a rubber match to decide whose season stays alive. I'm Amanda Borges with The Spin on Yahoo Sports. Joining me now, senior NFL writers Therese Paler and Charles Robinson. Let's start with our man in Houston, Charles. That's where this game will be played. You're keeping an eye on Deshaun Watson, who gets his first shot at an NFL playoff game. Yeah, I think, you know, really for the Houston Texans, even though they have all the defensive stars and there are a multitude of things you can talk about, Bill O'Brien getting into the playoffs, all these different things, um, you know, O'Brien getting back in the playoffs once again, uh, Watson really, to me, is the story. I think, you know, this is a guy I remember, you know, you go back to when he was drafted two seasons ago, and I remember talking to a personnel guy and he said, look, um, it's all going to turn on for him, particularly when he gets into these playoff stages. Go back and look at the BCS playoffs that he was involved in at Clemson. That's really the stage that this guy craves. What I think is interesting is that, in a weird way, Watson's kind of been forgotten in the young quarterback mix. Maybe not completely forgotten, but you talk about guys like Baker Mayfield in Cleveland, Jared Goff with the LA Rams, even Carson Wentz with the Philadelphia Eagles, obviously Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City. I'm not, I don't know that Deshaun Watson's really considered inside that group of young quarterbacks right now. Now, I think he's walking into this stage where essentially he can get his foothold. This is the stage he's always wanted. This is where he thrived in college. Uh, and so to me, that's really the story for the Houston Texans. This is Deshaun Watson's opportunity to thrust himself right back into that elite mix of young quarterbacks. Well, on the flip side, Therese, let's not forget about Andrew Luck going <laughs> against this Texans defense. Yeah, Charles made a great point with Watson because he's somebody that thrived um, on this stage in college. And I feel like we've all kind of forgot about him. In a similar way, a lot of people kind of forgot about Andrew Luck. Missed all the last season uh, with shoulder issue. And now here he is. He has led his team, a very young team, to the playoffs. And very few will have uh, projected that. And I think that this showdown against the Texans is going to be really fascinating. Um, in the past against the Texans, uh, these two teams split, first of all. So the Colts won in Houston and the Texans won in Indy. This game is in Houston. And I think the thing that stands out to me is that in both of those games, Andrew Luck went off. <laughs> I mean, Luck threw for a combined 860 yards. This guy's played really well against these guys. And the Texans can get after the quarterback. They can rush the passer. They can. They, it's a good defense. I just think it's going to be really fascinating to watch Andrew Luck try to do his thing one more time on the big stage in the playoffs against a really good defense. Therese, as you said, these teams split their regular season series with the road team winning each time by a field goal. So, Charles, you first. Who you got? Well, I think this is where home field advantage matters. You know, obviously the playoffs. Um, I live here in Houston. Um, I, I like the Texans' defense. I think they kick it up a notch in the playoffs. I think J.J. Watt's been waiting for this. Jadavion Clowney has been waiting for this. These guys really want to get after luck. I'm going to pick the Houston Texans over the Colts. 24-20. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Colts. Um, I, I believe that Andrew Luck is going to continue to throw the ball on these guys, just like he had in the prior two games. So I'm going to take the Colts to win 27-24. I love when you guys pick against each other. It's great. All right, should be a good one. Thank you very much, guys. For more on the NFL playoffs, keep it locked right here on The Spin.